Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alvin, I'm a part-time reseller here in Singapore and in this video we are going to talk about how I actually ship my eBay orders and as you can tell from the last few days, I did tell you guys that the shipping rates have gone up in Singapore and I think in many other countries also. Uh, for this video, primarily is for the sellers who are are shipping from Singapore. It can be any you know sellers like Etsy, eBay, any part of the world that you. If you find this useful, you may wish to stick around to the end of the video. My thoughts on the matter and how what other courier service I'm using. And if you have any other courier service that you are also using, uh, maybe you can comment down below. Uh, if you find this video useful, you can hopefully you know like the video and I do you know my content going forward to maybe help me by uh, subscribing to my channel. And of course, before we can even talk about shipping, the shipping costs or the courier services that I you know, primarily use, which is, which is a few of course, we do need to ship out our orders. And for this weekend that passed past, by, is, we, we have quite a few orders actually. It's like 10 over orders that I have to ship. And let's get right to the orders and I'll show you what they are. I've laid out all my items that I need to pack over here. I think there's over like 10 over orders here. Uh, we'll first start off with this box. This box, um, it was a shipping that was supposed to be done last week, but it, you know, the, the buyer, I had to cancel his order and then we had to do it all over again because his address did not have a postal code. Do bear in mind, any address that you need to send out to, you do need to have them in a full address. If not, you can't send it out. And for this instance, this buyer, did not have his postal code written in it so i had to redo his old order and then we're going to ship this out uh the price will be here uh i think i had it it's in my collection that's why i'm selling it off as it is next will be this dead space dead space tree uh play arts figure this dead space tree i think i got it for 100 and then selling for this price over here uh, i i don't know i do profit from it and then the, she, she also paid for the sh uh, shipping cost for it uh, this one, again, all these will be bubble wrapped and then put in parcel boxes. That's how I ship my orders, by the way. Okay, so the next order will be this uh, Max Factory uh, So My Spirit Lady. This one, I had it cheap. It was I bought it with another figure and somehow uh, this one, I took a I took a best offer of it because it was lingering in my death pile on my shelf for quite a while, and then I took a twenty dollar offer on it with shipping, of course. I do still profit from it, but it's not a very big money maker. So yeah, this one is going out the door. This one, it's something that I dabbled with. I bought this Monster High figure from Mattel Creations, uh, to flip. To be honest with you, and this one I still will earn a little. Not all of them will earn you money on it. I do still earn because it's one of the first few figures that came out. Uh, but I'm letting them go because the price stagnated for quite a bit and then the, the series is going on as usual. So I would just take my money and then move on to something else. This as is my bread and butter. These steel books, uh, these sword and shoe steel books. Um, I bought more from another buy, uh, seller. sorry, And this one, uh, this sword and shoe is sold uh, 30 bucks if I'm not wrong. My buy cost is half of that. I have quite a few. If you want, you can always go to my eBay and buy. This one is uh, the steelbook from the latest Pokemon Scarlet and Violet uh, with the gold steelbook. This one doesn't come with the game, but it's still sold for, if I'm not wrong, close to $40, 30, $38 if I'm not wrong, plus shipping. Yeah, this one, surprisingly, this still can sell as it is. This is a good one. Uh, then, of course, if you see this Blastoise and Lapras, I got this as a 3-pack uh, from a lady who was selling off her collection. I got them as a 3 with the Charizard. Uh, and I got it for like 250 I'm selling these two off. And then I'm getting back money's worth already from these two uh, late, uh, figures. And yeah, this is a good one to, to, to flip. You might be wondering how I'm going to ship this off. Yeah, I'm going to find a big box. That's how I keep boxes and store them in my storeroom, which I talked about in my last video over here. And this one, it was a gamble, I'll be honest with you. But of course, the buy cost, because per figure is only like 80 Singapore dollars, and then they were going for like 200 US on eBay itself. So I took a gamble and it paid off. Next will be these few loose figures that was part of my collection. This one, uh, this is a 3A figure that I have 
quite frankly speaking, I've lost interest in the, the, the line. I bought way too many. And it's still going strong to this 3A Ashley Wood figures. Uh, this Death Mask Archer. Uh, you can see the price over here. Uh, this one's all part of my collection. This little dog just sold for me. And it's fairly expensive for something that's, that's weight to it. But it's a hundred over dollar fig figure. So it doesn't even move. There's no joints on it. So that's one thing that many collectors still going at it. Uh, even for figures that have done me wrong in my our climate. If you can see the condition of it is quite bad. But I took an offer on it and it still moved. And then, yeah, this one is... Again, all prices will be at the right side of your uh, the viewing, you know. So then, of course, this is this last figure will be Toxic Crusader. This one, this is a part of my collection. This one went for like, I think, $70. Over. Yeah, this is Toxic Crusader. This figure is very old, if I'm not wrong. How much? When is this? 2005. Wow, 2005. 2005. All these old figures still sell. If you want to take any takeaway from this before we talk about shipping, is that old figures still sell. If you can find them at a buy cost that is good, and then you see the completed listings, you should be able to profit. That's how I do it on eBay. Get this all packed with a wave of one one and done. It's all packed, ready to go. And I will basically just show you right now. I'll go back to my, you know, my work desk and then we will figure out what exactly am I using as a courier service. So let's go. I'm back at my office, my workstation, and I'm going to just basically just let you know how I'm going to ship my items. I basically in this two zero two three year uh, and hopefully in beyond, I'm actually using a few of them instead of in the past, I'm using Q Express only. Uh, the last few videos that I did for QSpress kind of works, but of course, with the increase in shipping rates across basically all the courier services and your post office, uh, it's a thing that it impacts your shipping costs. So for this year going forward, I'm actually using and utilizing a few of them. And I'm going to categorize them from the most expensive to the least expensive. And... I'm again based in Singapore, so I'm a Singapore international seller. For those that are non-Singapore sellers who are shipping them internationally, you might find this useful still because I'm going to touch upon the eBay C Pass. The eBay C Pass is actually something that eBay created to help um, international sellers ship better, I guess. There's this website that you need to create again, but you can link the C pass to your eBay and you can utilize the various shipping courier services that you wish to. And for Thailand itself, there's the Thailand Post, there's another courier service that's worldwide, there's Aramax, which I'm currently using. And there's a few others uh, globally. But for Singapore, at the moment, we are only able to use Aramax. Um, there is talks on C pass that they will at more, hopefully Singapore Post will be added in. And let me start off by the eBay C Pass, which I'm using. Relatively easy. You basically just need to create with your eBay account. You create the C Pass account, and then you link them together, and that's about it. Then you can, of course, with Aramax, which I'm using, you have to create an account with them. Contact with Aramax to create the account. Then once that is going, you will have to log into the account at Aramax, and then you know vice versa, and then you can do your shipping from there. The thing is, like I mentioned to you, it's the most expensive. So as with a courier service, it is actually the fastest. So with that in mind, uh, it can take as fast as four or five days for normal shipping. You can also arrange the pickup on the same day, which is, of course, with a different timing, you know, you can choose. For me, I've actually created the pickup on morning and then the courier guy, the delivery guy will come in the afternoon, it's around the same timing he come. had a conversation with him. He did mention that he is always around that area anyway. So for that, um, the same day pickup is possible if you schedule it early. For US and UK, there's this economy parcel express thingy that it calculates actual weight instead of volumetric weight because usually courier services use volumetric weight, which is length times breadth times height, basically. Uh, then... 
for that reason, uh, it's slightly cheaper, but you must bear in mind there's fuel surcharge added on to it. And fuel surcharge of late is pretty high. So like I mentioned to you, courier services like Aramax, which I'm using, can be expensive. But of course, if your uh, selling cost is not prohibitive of it, you can use it. So that's why it's the most expensive. The next one will be Q Express, which I mentioned before. Um, the past few videos are still valid. Just that the rates have gone up. How they calculate the rates has also gone up. Sadly, uh, in the past, it was all by actual weight, up to 2 kg, of course. Then for lately, everything has been calculated at volumetric weight, which is a bit absurd, but that's the way it is. Uh, the increase in the shipping rates on its own is already a factor, but I still use it because some items that I need to ship, I go through volumetric weight anyway. So that's why I still use QSPS. QSPS, you can schedule pickup um, from the relevant address that you have, same like Aramax, but it's not on the same day, you schedule it the, for it the next day. So it's a next day pickup or whichever day you want it to be picked up. And then you know it's a whole day event. So you have to wait for the courier service, the courier guy to come and pick up the item from you. For most countries through SingPost, which is EPEC and Priority Speed Post, uh, those two will have your tracking end to end. I will put it because you do need your tracking number to be valid. That's why I urge you again not to use SingPost Direct. Go through a courier service that actually use EPAC service because for US, Australia, and UK, all these three need the EPAC service so that eBay recognizes the tracking number that is delivered to the doorstep. The difference between Aramax and Q Express is, of course, Q Express, you need to pay first. You have to pay upfront. The whatever you calculated the postage, the guy picks it up and then it redirected to SingPost. En route to SingPost, to, to, to the EPAC service or the priority service, if the postage is different, like if it's higher than usual, you will be struck with um, additional payment. It's the same exact payment that you know they calculated on their own, usually volumetric rate because they calculate length by and your calculation may be wrong, you know. So you have to pay the additional. That's the difference it is. For Aramax, the difference is you do get built uh, later down the road. I believe it's one month later. And then you will then know how much you get uh, to, to get to be paid. Lah. You get you need to be paying for it. So that's the difference over there. Q Express, you can pay by credit card. You go through Q10, you can pay by credit card. Aramax, I believe you can still pay them by credit card. I may be wrong. So you do need to verify that on your own. Both services is, again, Q Express is the slower of the two because they use EPAC and Priority versus a courier, actual courier service. So that's the difference between the two, even though Q Express is a courier service. Bearing in mind that majority of the countries they use is EPAC or Priority uh, Speedpost, there are a few exceptions like Japan and Korea. They actually use a different uh, courier service. Again, that one is definitely volumetric weight. So but it's a, it's, a, it's a bit faster. La. The last service that I use of late, which in recent times, uh, I had the opportunity to create an account with them. And it was through one of the uh, comments uh, in my one of my videos that I happened to chance upon that is the Poster Connect. The Poster Connect, again, I'm not sponsored by RMX, by QSPS, by the Poster Connect. I'm just giving a shout out to them that I'm using their service. I'm directly using their service. So uh, for Poster Connect, it's the least expensive because um, they actually are, uh, they've been in the game for very long. And the fact that they are using the EPAC and the Priority Speed Post, they also have other courier services. They actually do quite a bit of uh, shipping for various companies and everybody else. Then for this time around, uh, I was told that they have the EPAC service. It's actually much cheaper than QSPS now. If it were back in 2022, it may not be the, there might be any difference, but this time there is. And they actually use actual weight for EPAC. Of course, there's the dimensional uh, restrictions. Uh, just like when you go to SingPost Direct, SpeedPost Priority is the same. But if your package is relatively large and heavy, they may upgrade you to a courier service if the price is the same. So at FedEx, they have TNT, they have the other various courier services that are on board with them. The only downside is you have to pay in cash. They bill you, I think, uh, every two weeks, if I'm not wrong. 
correct me if I'm I'm not yet been built, but I've been using the service for less than two weeks, so I've not yet been built. And you only can pay by cash or bank transfer. You can't use credit card like QSPS or even RMX. Then of course the pickup, you can schedule a pickup, you have to email them and then they will schedule a pickup the following day or whichever day you want it to be. Relatively all three uh, services are okay. So far, um, the tracking works, all three of them. RMX will be the fastest because I think it's linked with eBay directly. Uh, the rest are uh, because of EPAC, they, it takes a while to, you know, in, in the interject with each other, you know, but it, that's, it still shows delivery, you know, you're good to go. So for that, these are the three courier services that I'm using. Um, if you have any other courier services that are using in Singapore, uh, do comment below. Uh, then if you have, if you find this also useful, uh, do give me a like on this video. And if you are an international seller from any other country, you may want to consider again the C Pass from eBay. Again, I'm not sponsored. I'm just telling you like it is what they are doing. Uh, there are other courier services. If you happen to be another country and they have other options, maybe you can comment down below what you are using. And for that, I thank you so much for watching this video. Hope this is useful again. Do comment, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye.